with games against Arkansas and Georgia highlighting Furman's 2013-14 women's basketball schedule, head coach Jackie Carson put her squad through their rigorous first days of practice to look to propel them to the upper division of the Southern Conference. The Paladins will travel to Arkansas on November the 16th and play 2013 NCAA tournament participant Georgia in Athens on November the 19th. Furman will entertain Erskine in an exhibition at Timmins Arena on November the 4th before opening the regular season on November 9th at Asheville. And its 13-game home slate on November the 12th will open versus Brevard. The Paladins tip off Southern Conference play with a pair of December road clashes against Georgia Southern December the 7th and Davidson December the 9th. The 2013-14 campaign will mark the fourth for the Paladins under Carson. Furman posted a 12 and 18 overall record and an 8 and 12 SoCon mark a year ago with a squad that featured freshman of the year forward Holly Wilkins. Wilkins will be joined by junior forward Brittany Hodges, the SoCon 2011-2012 SoCon freshman of the year, in forming a solid contingent of returnees that include four starters and three of the team's top four scores from a year ago. This year's squad features a trio of freshmen, including a pair of All-State performers from North Carolina in guard Whitney Bunn and wing Allison Beasley, as well as Maryland native forward Tierra Wood. This is, I tell our girls all the time, and it, it's not a lie, this is probably the most excited season that we're going to have um, since I've been here as the head coach. and. Um, we have a lot of girls that have experience finally. You know, last year we had 11 freshmen and sophomore out of 15, 16 players, and it was just, it was hard to get them going because they didn't understand um, the pace. You know, when you have six freshmen at the time and then, you know, uh, five sophomores, it's just getting them to understand the college game and take on that pressure on their shoulders. That was always a struggle for us, but our junior class, even our senior class, the senior class is the only class that's been with me for four years, even though they were recruited by Coach Dixon. Uh, but they understand me. Um, they're both coming off, both of our seniors, Janice and Bridget, are coming off injuries from pre, uh, from preseason. But they uh, are great leaders right now, and they're doing a tremendous job and getting the young ones going, getting the energy. They know they have one more shot at getting the Southern Conference title, and it's very important to them. Uh, our point guard situation is awesome, actually. You know, we do have two coming back from injury. Bridget's probably a little bit slower than Erica. Um, Erica's almost full go, so she's not really an issue anymore. Her surgery was back in February. Uh, and then we have Whitney Bunn, who is an awesome freshman point guard who can come in and give minutes and will be a key player for us at the freshman spot. Um, it's just that I said it every year, and it's come true the last two years. I think we have the freshman of the year on our team. I just don't know which one of them is going to be um, between Whitney Bunn, Allison Beasley, and Tierra Wood. One of them has the capability of being the freshman of the year, so we would like to keep that streak going of getting it a third straight year. Um, but I'm really proud of our upper upperclassmen, our junior class especially. Uh, they stayed over the summer, most of them. They worked hard. They're being leaders, things that they were missing last year that now they're able to carry over. And I think everyone will start seeing the, the fruit of all their hard work. Uh, personal challenge. Yeah. Uh, you're you're, you're going to have your second child, and just as you get started, so just talk about how you manage all this. I have no idea. We will see. I'm due three weeks before our first game. Um, I do have a new staff, but they're outstanding. They've been picking up. We're, we're actually still finding one more coach. We lost a coach late um, in the in the season, and. Um, so you know what we the girls are anxious, the the staff is anxious. Everyone, it, it's not even like we have any adversity right now. You know, it, with a, a coach that can go into labor any second now, and um, a staff that's one person down. Everyone's doing what they're supposed to do, and that's kind of been what our motto is to the girls: is no matter what is thrown at us, we're going to handle it. We're going to handle it with grace, and we're going to be fine with it. Just dealing with adversity, but it's exciting. It's, it's exciting. It's a part of the women's game when you have women's coaches. Is that we, we're moms. I'm mom first, and then I'm coach second. So I've got a lot of support from the university administration. Um, uh, it, it's great that my husband's a part of you know athletic and academic field. So it, it's a great balance, and I couldn't get any more support from my staff and just Furman in general. While this video was in production, we learned that the sweet little package that everyone in women's basketball was waiting on had arrived. Lathan Carson, 6 pounds, 11 ounces, and waving hello to the world, 
was born on October the 8th and was greeted by her big sister, London. Congratulations to Jackie and Rob Carson. It looks like it's going to be another fun year in Furman women's basketball. For FurmanPaladins.com, I'm Dwight Covington. Go you lady paladins.